All right, guys, welcome to another video. This is a little more exciting one. As you can see, this is no longer the regular 1500 front end uh, that you would find on the cat eyes, um, unless you had a later year or an HD. Now, I uh, truck's a little filthy right now. I do have some bugs and stuff. Um, but I got a smoking deal on that hood um, from a uh, fella in Indiana. Uh, the grill was uh, on sale real cheap. Um, and uh, so I went through, I painted these inserts uh, to match. Um, took my time with those. I think I might have to clean them up a little bit from some rocks and stuff like that. But I know they'll never be perfect because I drive the heck out of this thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so I did not color match the grill. Uh, I did not think that that is probably something I'm gonna do. I was debating on this honeycomb here is gray. Um, and I was debating on making that pewter to match the truck. Um, we're not gonna talk about this whole thing going on here yet because uh, license plate things, there's dents in this. So this whole front bumper is kind of, it's not junk. It still looks good, but uh, it's held up. This bottom piece is held up by zip ties and bolts. All right, let me talk again now that something just drove by. Um, but yeah, this is all held up by zip ties and bolts. So it's uh, not in as good condition as it used to be, but it still looks decent um, from the outside for now. Um, this is a, a newer badge because when I originally got the truck, it actually was so faded it almost matched this color. Uh, the gold was pretty much missing. But uh, if you look into the paint, um, you can see, hopefully, I tried to park under some white here, but you can see that clear coat is kind of really messed up because it was sitting unwashed for a while um, with a bunch of dirt on it. I went through and tried to clean it up, clay barred the heck out of it, and it does look miles better than what it was when I first got it, but uh, it's simply just faded. Um, so I will have to get this resprayed, but I love the look of it a lot more than the regular hood because it's got that raise as opposed to the regular hood just kind of swoops in gradually. Uh, as well as I love this grill a lot more. I don't I don't like the uh, regular grills. Color match, they look pretty good, um, but otherwise not not so much a fan. It's more so the hood is what gets me. But let me just pop the hood here because um, I'm going to show as well some other spots that probably need a little bit of loving. Um, so up here, um, I went through and I just touched it up. Uh, a little bit so it did look worse but I didn't have time to really go through and go crazy but I am gonna before I send this maybe somewhere to get resprayed um, I am gonna grind all that down make it real nice and smooth um, there's some spots that were up along in here I cleaned those up and just put some paint on them for now um, I didn't buy paint um, specifically to do this I had a little bit left in a can um, and I decided that um, I'll clean it up for now. I wanted to get it on, make sure that this thing fit good before I send it off to get painted somewhere because uh, it had been sitting for so long. I wanted to make sure it wasn't bent or anything like that. Like I said, it does have a little dent um, up here and then this one up here, which that one I believe should be pretty fixable. This one I'm not so sure, but it's, it's very almost unnoticeable. Um, but... Um, but yeah, so the truck's now got an HD conversion. Um, the other thing I gotta do is I gotta go through and get this black as well. Not exactly sure what chemical or something kicked up off the road. Um, started making this gray all nasty. It looks like it almost got on the black here too, but I'll go through and clean that all up. Um, I did mess up my pins a little bit, so I will have to fix those as well. Um, they're a little boogered up. Uh, but I think it's a huge improvement. Um, I do have my stock cover still. Uh, it's just not on there uh, anymore, just for ease of getting in there, because I did have a, mis a misfire issue at one point, which has not shown its face for a while. Um, I do believe it was probably just a connector for the uh, odd bank. Um, it just needed a little dielectric grease and a little blowing out. But uh, I think that looks miles better. Um, still have stock wheels but 
I think next I'm going to try and maybe look into uh, the molding delete. Um, I think the trucks look real clean with that taken off. Um, like I said, I will have to try and probably go around get some quotes and see about that hood getting cleaned up. But I'm not too stressed on it right now because it does not look terrible. Um, once it's all washed up and clean and I got a little bit of wax on the on that hood, um, it does pop a little bit better. It doesn't look as bad. I intentionally parked in some lighting that would really show the difference. Um, but yeah. But Anyways, I'm going to stop blabbing. Um, that's the update on the truck and I think it looks really, really good. But let me know down below what you guys think. If you guys think this is a good switch. So, appreciate it. Drop a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You guys know the drill. Uh, but keep following for Silverado content. Kind of stop the Grand Prix because it's kind of just a winter beater right now. Um, it's still a fun car to drive. It's still a nice car. So anyone that's been following me since that, I appreciate you guys. And also follow for Camaro stuff. I'm trying to piece together stuff. I took way too long off, so videos are everywhere as well as there some of them are the quality is not the greatest but anyways like subscribe end of the video i'm done talking